Kanea. Welcome to Dawn's channel. Today we are doing prep work for our Memorial Day cook-off. So, so far we have vacuum sealed two packs of rib tips from Bud's House of Meat. And um, he got about 20 pounds. We are um, doing about, well, we're going to vacuum seal all of it, but we're not going to cook it all on Memorial Day. Right, so we're right, vacuum right. sealing the tips right now. And, um, and then we're going to do some other meats. Okay. And here's Dad. This is the process what I'm doing, you know, just looking at these. I put some, put, I put some, I'm going to put some more brown sugar in here. I've got my Bud's meat seasoning, barbecue seasoning, some regular sugar, not sugar, but uh, salt, and some garlic salt. Camille and Camille, garlic. they like garlic salt. So what I'm going to do with this now, I'm going to go ahead and Kania can tell you what I'm doing and she'll show you the slurry mixture. Oh, there. and the most important ingredient is this wine for cooking. Yes, Thank you so much. yes, yes, yes. As a matter of fact, <laughs> go ahead and put some in that in here now. Oh, yes. With my slurry. More. Now what she's going to do is put a little slurry of the wine in there. It's going to make a nice little, he overdoes it. That's enough. You can drink it, right? <laughs> and then I'll mix this up and... Grab that bowl and kind of show them what it looks like once that gets going. So once it's here. all mixed, oh sorry, go ahead. go ahead. Once it's all mixed, ooh, I don't know if you can see that without me spilling it. But the ribs are seasoned and it makes a nice juicy broth for them to marinate in. So fantastic. It smells amazing. Yeah, it looks good. Let me see if I get on this side like this. Yeah, there we go. it looks good. We pull them up like this. This is going to be the stuff that we're going to put probably in our freezer for the next time we barbecue. So what I'll do is get the pan like this. Go ahead and take these, put these in the pan. Make sure you've got a good shot. Yeah, take a look at that. Okay. We're sticky when you need them. There we go. Videographer. Okay, now Oops, let's see. Too fast. There no, we go. No, let's see. Let's see if you can no, see. No, I zoomed in too much. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Hold on. That Hold that. That's good. Very good. Okay. okay. Now, we're going to pause it now, and we're going to show you how the thing. Do the pause. There we go. Back again. So what I'm going to do now is take some of the seasoned meat, drop it in this bag, and we're going to marinate it in our vacuum sealer. So I just grab, like, enough to keep fill this bag, but not too much. We don't want to overfill it. Because then it won't seal properly. Ooh, this is a good piece. Look at that. Ooh, wee! Okay. Oh, so excited. And it smells amazing. It smells like wine and brown sugar. That's why she says it's amazing. I'm not it's saying no, she's a wino, but. Good. Uh... It smells good. All right, I think I'm going to. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just cleaning off the edge of the bag because as you put it in the bag, it kind of gets on the outside and stuff. And you don't want that because it might inhibit the sealing process. So what I'm going to do now is just place it in our vacuum sealer. You always want to make sure you have a few inches at the top. Put it in our little um, catch-all, what is this called? Catch drain or drain drip pan. That's what it is, the drip pan. Make sure it's nice and straight-ish, mostly straight. Put it on moist because it is food. And back in soon. What it does is it takes all the air out. It suctions it up. It does take a little bit of the liquid. As you can see, it's taken all the air. Then it will seal it with a tight seal at the top to vacuum seal it and take all the extra air out of it. And it's good to keep, um, I think you can keep this, I think that says about five times longer than you would a normal sealed um, bag. So, but what we're going to do is put it in the freezer for a couple days until, because it's only Tuesday. So, all right. And it's all sealed. And I got some in the drip pan because there was a lot of liquid in here. And I just clean out in between the seals. A pip towel. And it's all good. Oh, are you still watching me? Yeah, is it sealed all the way? Okay, sealed all the way. Okay. This is just me cleaning the edges. And when when you what, the re, one of the ways you know it's sealed is because it keeps its shape after you seal it. It keeps it compressed to the meat. 
I just have to get all the extra juice out of the box, out of the top. Because it seals it and it fresh pulls the juice out and the extra juice that comes out goes in this drip tray. And then you just pour that and rinse it out. Get ready for the next batch. Get ready for the next batch. Well, that's how we're prepping for Memorial Day coming up this coming Monday. Yay! And then uh, we'll be... This, some of these bags will go in the freezer for sure for another day, mm -hmm. but we'll have another video after Memorial Day to show you what it really looks like and show you how it tastes. We'll, we'll, we'll video the barbecue on Memorial Day. But since you guys didn't watch all my other barbecues, we'll just do a short version of that <laughs> after it's all done. Okay. All right. Well, that's all for now, folks. Uh, say bye, Kania. Bye. No, say, say bye, Kania. Oh, bye, Kania. There you go. That's it. <laughs> Okay, see you the next time. <laughs>